Hi there, Serial Trader here. Let's just check in with the major US indices. And uh, we'll just go over Friday's price action, as well as perhaps what to look for in the week coming up here, starting tomorrow. So on an intraday basis, uh, SPX was quite strong, but then uh, cooled off a bit uh, on a closing basis. But it still closed above the T-line and the three T line is actually, you know, with one more positive day of trading, uh, for instance, uh, the three T line will cross above the T line. So that will be, uh, you know, short term positive as far as uh, that indicator goes. But really from a larger picture, we're, we're still quite neutral. We're either looking for a break of this support level, okay? And that would be uh, 26, 12, 67, or a break of this resistance level 27 17 49 and until one of those two things happens there's really no strong conviction uh, position to initiate here uh, I'm certainly going to be a lot more bullish if this resistance level breaks on that doji star and I'll certainly turn immediately more bearish if this uh, bullish hammer breaks to the downside okay and that'll you know at that point be below this 200 day moving average as well but right now we're just waiting and part of the game is just waiting for the opportunity to present itself and not trying to uh, force a trade when there isn't one. And just to check in with the overall wave interpretation. So this is very much still in play until it gets invalidated. And uh, I mean, it would, it would start looking invalidated, breaking the high of this bar right here. But really, it doesn't truly get invalidated until this bar right here, okay? And that's the same as that doji star on the other chart. And this triangle interpretation that's quite bullish, it won't get invalidated. Uh, well, ultimately, unless that got taken out, although early signs, and of course, as a trader, uh, or at least me as a trader, I like to get a front run or get the jump on something before it happens, but at least with some technical reason to do so. And that would be a break of the... Uh, of the current lows on, on this retracement, okay? And again, that was shown as that uh, bullish hammer on the other chart. So both wave counts still in play. Nothing's truly changed there. And we're just kind of in a neutral state waiting for clarity. All right, so that's SPX. And okay, Dow Jones. It's really in a similar position. Um, still just sitting right on the T-line. You couldn't really get more non-committal than that. That basically just shows you that it's neutral. And the T-line itself has even just gone flat for now. So Dow Jones also awaiting uh, some sort of directional clarity. And NASDAQ. NASDAQ Composite. Okay, so NASDAQ. Uh, this actually shows you something a little different than the other two indices. So you had a very significant rejection of those higher prices that were uh, experienced at one point on Friday. And uh, you didn't close near the low of the day and you still closed above the T-line, but it's just showing you there was a very large rejection of higher prices. And if you look at names like uh, Amazon and Intel and Microsoft, a lot of them traded strongly, but then pulled back significantly from those, those higher levels by the close of the day. So it may not necessarily mean anything. It could just be some you know regular profit taking after a big move up. Uh, but if this rejection of higher prices continues and we start closing below the T-line on this as well as other individual names, that could be an indicator that we're gonna you know, have a more bearish scenario play out and, and start taking out these uh, short-term support levels on all the indices. But we don't know yet. Uh, you have to let the market commit to you before you commit to the market in this case it has to either break the support or resistance levels. And we're just in the middle right now, so no sense trying to guess which one's gonna happen before it happens. But it is good to be anticipating it and then react on a clean break of one of those two things. That's that's the next trade setup for me, in my opinion. Okay, let's look at the VIX. So the VIX, uh, we'll zoom out for a second. The VIX looking quite benign, really. And there's, there's nothing concerning uh, as far as, uh, you know, the VIX being an uptrend or, or spiking upwards. So 
the VIX being, you know, this weak uh, or this flaccid, that's actually a somewhat bullish uh, indicator for stocks uh, because typically lower levels of VIX uh, allow stock prices to rise unimpeded. So as long as the VIX just keeps going down or going sideways, that's uh, from, from the standpoint of VIX as an indicator, uh, that's actually a uh, reasonably bullish development. So not much else to say about VIX. And uh, well, I guess we, we could check in with Apple and, and Amazon here since we've been talking about them a bit. Uh, okay, Apple. So Apple still uh, below the 200 day moving average, still below the T-line and actually uh, a fairly negative day on Friday and actually did make a new low on Friday from this initial move down. Uh, so Apple's still looking negative on its chart. Uh, and that's notable because Apple's a large market cap name and it it alone influences a significant portion of movement on the uh, S&P 500, for instance. Uh, or the Dow, actually. It's listed as one of the Dow stocks. So uh, let's look at Amazon. Okay. Amazon. This one's interesting. So it was extremely strong. It gapped up, made new all-time highs after earnings, okay? But then rejected a significant amount of those gains and closed near the low of its uh, trading range for that day. Now, it still closed up significantly from the previous day, but I'm just pointing out that uh, intraday there was weakness and rejection of those higher prices. Now that could just be simple profit taking and you know maybe this gap up is just kicking off a new up leg. We don't know yet. But that's just something to be aware of. Uh, at least short term, perhaps some weakness, maybe close the gap or test the gap, right? Uh, just going a little closer to have a better look at that. Right? But, uh, you know, gap up well above the T-line. So overall bullish, but just be aware that this gap is uh, calling to be tested or closed, in my opinion. But we will see. And, okay, uh... I guess that's probably good for now. So yeah, just on this coming week, don't force the trade. Just just wait for some commitment from this market. Hopefully this coming week, uh, we will see, at least by the end of the week, uh, hopefully sooner even, we will see uh, either a break of the resistance or a break of the support, okay? And that will certainly give more clarity to the overall direction we should be looking in and likely on some individual names as well. But uh, all right, I'll wrap it there. Serial Trader signing off.